all the macro indicators have suggested that all of the stimulus from fiscal uh, spending all of the growth that we saw in the economy is kind of petering out. And we're seeing a big overlay of lots of problems across the world. Obviously, the Chinese-U.S. Tra uh, trade relations, the European situation, both in Brexit and within Europe itself with Italy, all that creating a lot of, I think, stress across the globe. Uh, but just more importantly, I think uh, the, gr the much bigger problem is that monetary policy is no longer easing. And so, therefore, multiple expansion on, on PEs is just not happening. So you have this kind of a... A profit contraction, multiple P contraction, and a, a increasing monetary policy, tightening monetary policy. All of that is just, I think, a very negative overlay on the market. So, you know, basically my argument is this. We've been conditioned to buy the dip continuously. And yeah. I think the regime has really changed. And this is maybe, I think, the biggest thing to take away from all of this. We may be in a situation where we're now going to be in a position where it's going to be sell the rally rather than buy the dip for quite a long time. As we expected, you are making a very important point, Boris, because this time it does feel yeah. a little bit different, right? Does it not? I mean, it's always been, to your point, sort of buy the dips. We fall, the market comes back. This right. time has got this sort of feeling where... All these good things are happening in the economy, but yet we look forward and it's just kind of hard to see the light at the end of the stock market tunnel. It is. And the bounces are pretty anemic, as, you, as you've noted. You know, they've just been very anemic and they're kind of not coming up to the former highs. So I think overall, as you're looking into the next several months, it's going to be a challenge for investors to, uh, to, to really establish, you know, positive positions. I, I think it's, again, going to be much more of a sell the rally structure than it is going to be by the dip. OK, so I know you listen, you've been you've been right, Boris. You've been out there. I know just from Trading Nation and everything else we've yeah. done for a while that you were sort of, you know, calling this in a way that you had been concerned. So yeah. let's flip the script, shall we? Okay. If you had to find a reason to be bullish right now, all right, yeah. what would it be? Um, well, one thing that could be bullish is Trump administration, I think, maybe making peace with the Chinese. That's going to create, I think, a lot of relief just globally um, across the world. Another thing that could be bullish, and this is uh, kind of a uh, fanciful idea, but 5G communication, it's always been technology waves that have really rescued us, right? And now one of the things you're seeing, of course, with Apple and with Facebook and, and Google is that it kind of petered out. There's nothing new on the techn technical landscape to really, um, you know, excite the crowd. 5G could be one of those things. If that comes on board fast and creates whole new applications and possibilities, both in business and consumer, that could be the next wave up. But until that point, I'm kind of very dubious. Yeah, and that's down the road. But in the near term, we had a guest on yesterday, Patrick Palfrey of Credit Suisse, who thought that the, the G20 meeting, and G20 meetings normally don't get a lot of attention, but right. this one next week in Argentina, that if we got some kind of a resolution between Xi Jinping of China and President Trump, that the market would be in better shape. Are you watching that G20 meeting next week very closely? No, absolutely. I think, I think that would be the near-term catalyst, but I don't think it's the catalyst that really takes us to the next big rally in the market. It's, it's probably be good for a couple of days, but definitely that should be a positive event if they can come to kind of some kind of terms on trade conditions. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.